Hey guys, I'm Brittany with Too Fab, and I'm here with Dina and Chris, who Hi. just Hi. wrapped couples therapy. Thank you for stopping by, you guys. Thank you. What made you guys want to go on the show? In the beginning when they came to us, we were like, you know what, we do have some compromising issues. Mm -hmm. Let's go on, maybe we can, you know, before moving in together, make it work better. Um, and when we got in there, it was a completely different ball game. Mm -hmm. Dr. Jen just opened us right up. We realized there was actually things that could be worked on. We, we started addressing issues that we didn't even know were an issue at all. What do you guys think was the best part of doing the show? For, like, what's the best thing you took away from it? Even now, I mean, it's months since we we ended filming, and we'll, we may start to like develop into an argument, and then all of a sudden, we'll like stop each other, and then realize like, okay, this is what we were doing before the show. So now that Dr. Jen kind of like coached us and and told us how to manage an issue, you know, now we're starting to to actually use her her advice. And yeah. We never, we were like, oh, it worked. It, now on the flip side, what was the most difficult part about filming all that kind of stuff, you know, airing all that on the show? Um, for me, it was really opening up about how deep my anxiety and my OCD and, you know, the antidepressant and everything went because I never, ever really spoke about it to even my close friends. On Jersey Shore, I felt like it wasn't the right place to talk about it. Um, and I didn't want it to come off like crazy or, you know, like not like serious. Mm -hmm. And I thought this was the right place. And I, Dr. Jen made me feel super comfortable. So did you guys have like a particular couple that you got along the best with? Um, was there anyone that you kind of... For me, I like me and Evil. He was like one of my biggest supporters in the house when it came to like a lot of things hard for me to like do um, because of my anxiety and my OCD and all that. Um, so he was like awesome. I really loved Tretch and Sicily. The person I probably butt heads with the most was probably Nikki, um, just because me and her are so different. Yeah. And we're both brutally honest. So we kind of had a respect for each other that way. Like if I thought she was being a bitch, I would be like, listen, you need to like relax. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so like it was, it was cool because there was no one in the house like you really didn't like. Mm -hmm. And if you did butt heads, it was like very like, listen, this is how it is. And she did the same to me and it was, it was cool. And we saw that you, Dina, were at uh, Snooki's bridal shower. Mm -hmm. Now, I was wondering if there's anything you can tell us about her upcoming wedding. Any well, it's going to be goes. huge and yes. beautiful and magnificent, just like Nicole. Um, me and Sam are in the bridal party. Okay, along cool. With Jenny. Um, and it's going to be a Gatsby wedding, so you can only imagine what mm -hmm. that's going to be like. Um, I'm excited. It's going to be a fun wedding. It's going to be a really fun wedding. So have you seen her baby girl yet? I haven't seen the baby girl yet, but she said he's she is a splitting image of Lorenzo, and Lorenzo oh, really? is freaking so perfect. Cute. Yeah. So I can only imagine how this little baby Gia is gonna look. So who else have you stayed close with since the Jersey Shore? Um, to be honest, I talk with the girls. Do we talk all the time? No, because all of our lives, they have kids now, and I'm doing my own thing. I have my boyfriend. Um, the boys I talk to just Paulie mm -hmm. here and there. He's also busy. I don't talk to Vinny. I don't talk to Ronnie, and I don't talk to Mike really at all. Um, but wish them the best, of course. Looking back, obviously, you know you've changed since doing the show. Is there anything that kind of sticks out in your mind that you wish you didn't do while filming? Of course, the reality show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that I'm 27, I started that when I was like 23, mm -hmm. 22, 23. Completely different mindset. I was single. You know, I. I was able to hold my liquor, and nowadays I drink and I'm in bed the entire next day. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely something that sticks out is dropping my bathing suit bottoms the first night in the house, and that was like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing. Sometimes I look in like in Italy, I was wild. It's kind of hard now yeah. to watch myself. Um, but will I, do I regret anything, like being part of the show? No, it was so fun. Mm -hmm. um, it made my... 20s, you know, so remember, like something to remember. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't, you know, trade it for the world. So you guys said you're looking for places together, mm -hmm. so the next step will be moving in. Um, are there any wedding bells in the near future or anything I like hope that? So. That, well, that, was the, that was the plan, like moving together, because you, you know, we, you can spend all day, every day with them, but until you live with somebody. Right. Yeah. You know, wake up with them and go to sleep with them every single day. You know, there could be something about me that she doesn't like and vice versa. So I think it's important that 
you know, instead of, there's no, there's no rush. Yeah. You know, um, we'll move in, this will, wedding. This is, I'm gonna be 30 soon, I mean. Soon. <laughs> well, another reason why we went to couples <laughs> therapy. <Yeah. laughs> the girls having babies is like getting me like excited. It does, yeah, once your it. friends start like to do that. Fever. I'm yeah. 27 now, like my friends from school are having kids, like they're having kids from the show. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It'll come, the day will come. I know, it will come. Uh, what's the best piece of advice you got from couples counseling that you think could really help other couples going through similar kind of things? For me, you are only as sick as your deepest secret. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so true, because when you get something that's sitting on your shoulders and you feel ashamed of it, once you get it off, it makes your life and your relationship so much better. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Great. Great. Yeah.